now let us discuss here about five variable Karnoff map uh, here we have five variables so totally we will have 2 power 5 that is 32 cells we know that a four variable Karnoff map contain 16 cells but now we need to have 32 cells so now we need to maintain two four variable Karnoff maps so this is the first four variable Karnoff map which contains 16 cells this is the second four variable Karnoff map which also contains 16 cells here we have five variables if a is equal to 0 then it represents the first Karnoff map when a is equal to 1 then it represents second Karnoff map here we have five variables left hand side bc right hand side this de so here the five variables are a b c d so here also left hand side represents bc and right hand side represents de so here the mean terms are uh, this is uh, first this is zeroth mean term this is the first four variable Karnoff map which contain which stores 16 mean terms from 0 to 15 just like the four variable Karnoff map so zero this cell represents zeroth mean term this cell represents mean term 1 next to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so first variable Karnoff map totally contains 16 mean terms from 0 to 15 so likewise second four variable Karnoff map also contains 16 mean terms from 16 to 31 so this cell represents 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 here if we consider this one uh, this is the first cell this is this cell represents zeroth mean term this cell represents 16th mean term we can these two are nothing but adjacent cells why because here the combinations are same this cell this here what is the combination bc value is 0 0 de value is 0 0 so here also bc value is 0 de value is 0 0 so we can combine these two adjacent cells into a group so likewise likewise if you consider this one this cell represents second mean term this cell represents 18 mean term we can combine these two are nothing but adjacent cells so we can combine these two adjacent cells into one group so likewise if you consider this one so fourth row first cell so this mean term 8 and fourth row first cell mean term 24 we can combine these two adjacent cells into one group why because the, these two represents same combination bc value 10 de value 0 1 0, 0, 0. so here also bc value 10 de value 0, 0 now we need to solve this problem uh, so here sigma sigma specifies uh, some operation m specifies mean term mean term means product operation on the variables so sigma m specifies sum of the products 0 2 3 5 7 8 10 11 14 15 16 18 24 26 27 29 30 and 31 so for all these mean terms we have to write one in the Karnoff map so that is already done so now we have to perform the grouping grouping so here what we can do is here at the opposite corners we have ones in both the Karnoff map so we can combine these eight cells into one group we can combine these eight cells into one group now let us write the mean term for that here a value is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider a value various coming to this one 0 0 1 0 so here also 0 0 1 0 so second zero is common what is second zero c bar c bar if you consider this one 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 because these are nothing but both cells so that's why we make uh, those eight cells as a group okay in 0 0 1 0 second zero is common what is second zero e bar e bar so this group so here uh, we are we are combining these eight cells into one group so that group uh, mean term is c bar e bar c bar e bar uh, now let us focus on the next group uh, here we have four cells here also we have four cells here these four cells and these four cells are identity adjacent cells 15 and 31 are adjacent cells 14 and 30 30 
14th mean theorem and 30th mean theorem are adjacent cells likewise 11 27 10 26 all are adjacent only so we can make these eight cells as a group we can make these eight cells as a group here a is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider a let us focus on b c d e so 1 1 1 0 first one is common what is first one b b next these two cells 1 1 1 0 first one is common what is first one d so here these eight cells this group represents a mean term called b d b d now we can make we can combine these four cells as one group but at this at this position we don't have any ones here so we can say that this group it belongs to only this Karnoff map this group belongs to only this Karnoff map so in this Karnoff map what is a value zero so when a is equal to zero we can write as a bar a bar here bc values are changing so there is no need to consider bc values whereas coming to de one one so we can write as yes, de de next we have to cover uh, we have to cover this one so the only way to cover this one is by merging these two cells as a group but here at this location we don't have any ones okay so this group belongs to only this Karnoff map so in this Karnoff map what is a value zero so that means a bar a bar next to zero one zero one means b bar c b bar c plus 0 1 1 1 i'm sorry here we have one more uh, here we need to consider this one also 0 1 1 1 second one is common what is second one e e so all the ones are covered in the first map uh, now let us see about the second one here we need to cover this one so the only way to cover this one is by combining these two as a group here this one one this group belongs to only this Karnoff map only so here what is a value 1 so we can write it as a next to 1 1 so 1 1 means 1 1 means bc 1 1 means bc next 0 1 1 1 second one is common so second one means e so this is the simplified expression for this problem in the next video we will discuss uh, some more examples on the 5 variable Karnoff map